Here I have a sketch already created that I'll use to demonstrate both the sketch fillet and chamfer tools and their options. I'll start with the sketch fillet. You can launch the sketch fillet tool from the sketch toolbar, the right click menu, or since this is a tool I use frequently, I'd like to point out that it can also be launched from the shortcut toolbar by pressing the S key on the keyboard. When I click on the sketch fillet icon, the property manager appears. In the selection window, I can click a vertex where two lines intersect, or I can select lines and arcs themselves. When I hover the cursor over a vertex, a preview of an arc appears. When I click to place the fillet, a fillet name appears in the Entities to Fillet window. To control the radius of the fillet, I can click and drag the fillet in the graphics area. I can use this spin box, or I can manually type in the radius. I'll go ahead and enter a radius value of 5 millimeters. And when I press enter on the keyboard, the preview of the fillet updates. With the command still active, I can add additional fillets. I'll select this line, and you can see its name appears in the selection window. When I move the cursor over the arc, a preview of the fillet appears. And when I click to add the fillet, the name of the fillet replaces the name of the line in the selection window. I'll come back to these options at the bottom of the property manager in just a moment. For now, I'll click OK, and the sketch fillets are added. I want you to notice two things. First, virtual sharp symbols were added where the entities previously intersected, and although two fillets were created, only one was dimensioned. The virtual sharp symbols were added because the Keep Constrained Corners option was selected when I created the fillets. When this option is selected, the virtual sharp corners represent the vertex where the lines previously intersected before the fillet was added and they can be used for dimensioning or adding relations. If you clear this box, any dimensions and relations associated with the corners will be deleted. Let me show you. I'll click undo to get rid of the fillets I just created, and to relaunch the tool I'll use the shortcut menu. This time, I'll clear the Keep Constrained Corner selection box and reselect the corners. When I attempt to add a fillet, SOLIDWORKS displays a pop-up window warning me that the corners have existing geometric relations that will be deleted if the fillet is created. I'll click Yes, select the second corner, click Yes again, and click OK. As you can see, the virtual sharp symbols have disappeared along with the 10mm and 16mm dimensions. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can also see that two fillets were created, but only one dimension was added. This happened because the dimension each fillet option was cleared when I created the fillets. When this option is cleared and you create multiple fillets at once, like in this example, only one fillet will have a dimension that drives their size. The rest of the fillets will have equal relations added to them automatically, which ensures that if one fillet radius ever changes, the other ones will automatically update to reflect the change. If you instead select the Dimension Each Fillet checkbox, SOLIDWORKS will add dimensions to all the fillets. Let me undo the fillets I just created once again so you can see the change. I'll relaunch the Sketch Fillet tool. In the Fillet Parameters group box, I'll check Keep Constrained Corners so that the sketch remains fully defined, and I'll also check the Dimension Each Fillet checkbox. I'll select the entities to fill it, and click OK. This time, a dimension of 5 millimeters was added to each fillet. At this point, let's move on and talk about the sketch chamfer. The sketch chamfer can also be found on the sketch toolbar, under the sketch fillet flyout, or you can access it from the shortcut toolbar by clicking the S key on the keyboard, where you'll find it under the sketch fillet flyout. When the sketch chamfer property manager appears, you can see that there are two parameter options to choose from. The Angle Distance option uses an angle and distance as the chamfer parameters. The Distance parameter is applied to the first entity selected, while the Angle parameter is applied from the first entity selected towards the second. The Distance Distance option uses two distance parameters instead. Similarly, Distance 1 is applied to the first entity selected, while Distance 2 is applied to the second. When Equal Distance is selected, Distance 1 applies to both entities. I'll select Distance Distance, enter a Distance 1 value of 4 millimeters, and Distance 2 value of 2 millimeters. I'll select this top edge first, and this vertical edge second. Right away, you can see that the chamfer was created and a point was added where the lines previously intersected. This point can be used for relations and for dimensioning. 
As a quick side note, notice there's an undo button in the property manager. If you want to reselect the order in which you chose the chamfer geometry, click on this button and the chamfer will be removed, allowing you to reselect the sketch entities. I'll reverse the order of the selections I made last time so you can see the results. With sketch chamfers, SolidWorks adds the dimensions automatically, which can be adjusted just as you would with any other dimension. Sketch fillets and chamfers are sketch tools that are used to smooth out and break sharp corners. The sketch fillet tool trims away a corner and creates a tangent arc, resulting in a smoother edge. The sketch chamfer tool also trims away a corner but instead creates a bevel. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use both the sketch fillet and sketch chamfer tools to edit sketch geometry, and I'll go over a few options to keep in mind when using them in your own sketches. Keep in mind, SOLIDWORKS does provide fillet and chamfer icons on the Features toolbar for applying those features to faces, edges, or vertices of a 3D model. In this lesson, I will be focusing on fillets and chamfers when working with sketches.